and I'm excited to share with you a simple illustration using one piece of paper that truly shares the gospel. And here's how it goes. You see, Jesus came. The reason he came is because he is preparing a home for us. There's a home for us that he's making in heaven. See, this world is not our home. When sin entered this world, when Adam and Eve disobeyed, this world kind of became broken. So Jesus said, I'm going to create a world for you. I go to prepare a place for you that where I am, you may also be. Jesus came to search and to rescue the lost. And see, wouldn't it be really cool if God said, you know what? I'm going to send an airplane. I'm going to send an airplane, heaven airlines, to come down and pick up my people and bring them home forever. That would have been a great way to be rescued, right? Maybe not an airplane. I got a better idea. What if, what if God sent a, I got it, a rocket ship? Oh, wouldn't that be awesome? Wouldn't it be so cool if God sent a rocket ship that we could board and we could blast off all the way to heaven? That would be a great way to rescue. But see, those two ways, they're not really all that great. They're not perfect. Rocket ships don't always work. And airplanes, we've all been to the airport, and that's not very fun. You see, God had a much better way. For God so loved the world, He gave His only Son, that who shall ever believe in Him should not perish, but have eternal life. Jesus gave His life at the cross so we might have eternal life. Jesus came to seek and save the lost, and he rescued us all. And how do we get to heaven? We get to heaven through the cross of Jesus Christ. So I want to share this illustration with you today. So here's how you do it. You can take any piece of paper, eight and a half by 11, and you simply fold the first top corner down like so. You're making a triangle in the top, but there's going to be a bottom with a rectangle. After that, you're basically making the house. So from there, you fold the other corner down, and now you have what looks like a home. That's when you remind them that Christ is making a home for them in heaven. And then you simply from there, it's so easy, you're making a traditional airplane. So you fold it in half, and now you make your wings. Depending on how you fold the wings will determine how thick your cross is. If you have small wings, you're going to have a thick cross. If you have smaller wing, bigger wings, you're going to have a more narrow cross. Now you know you've done it right when you've made an airplane and you have this flap in the middle because that's what's going to end up making the cross. So just to review, you've made the home and then you've now made an airplane. And you tell them that Christ could have sent an airplane. Jesus could have sent heaven airlines to save us. But that's not how he did it. Oh, here's another idea. You can rip from either side. I like ripping from the top, but it's a little challenging because you're ripping through quite a few pieces of paper. If that gets too hard, you can start from the bottom and make the bottom of your rocket and start ripping all the way up. That makes it a little bit easier to rip the wings off. Now be warned, that's a little tongue twister. Rip the wings off. I've said it weird every time I've done the illustration. At that point, now you've got a rocket ship. And don't worry if it's not perfect because it kind of adds some character to the cross anyways. After that, you've got the rocket ship. You say he could have sent a rocket ship. That's not how he sent it. Then you share the gospel. And usually I share John 3.16. I open it up and now we've got a cross. So I hope this illustration is something you can use for your ministry. And I really encourage you to teach your children to do it as well. So this is a pretty cool way for kids to share the gospel anywhere they're at, even at school. God bless you this Easter season.